we're going to grow our union and improve the social values of our country, we're going to have to reach out to the workers that need us the most. Those are our new members, our uh, welcomed immigrants to Canada, our diverse members that are working in the jobs that are most oppressed. And by uh, us being there to be their voice, it'll only make us a stronger union. done for me is that it's fought for a lot of the basic labor rights, which I believe are human rights, and has made it a better environment for me and as family members and future members, uh, family or not, to, to be a part of. For my grandchildren, for them to know if they have to fight, they have union to back them up. Proud to be at the Pride Parade here in Toronto this year. The support I've got from UFCW Canada has been overwhelming, whereas um, they've taken my small little project of marching in pride parades and spread it across the entire country. In a, in a country where the rights of every worker regardless of who they love, are respected, whether at home, at work, or in their community. We have many, hundreds and hundreds of UFCW members coming out here today to celebrate Caribbean culture. We're part of their community, they're part of our union, it's just a wonderful family. It's a bigger organization, but at the same time, they deal with individuals, as individuals, not as a group. So when they told us that we can have, a, we can have the right to stay in Canada because of UFCW, that gave us hope, not only for myself, but also for, for the future of my family. We're setting up a couple of programs to try and to help people in our community, Aboriginal, to become more involved in our union. As a result of this support from Canadians, we were able to raise over $210,000 for the surviving workers and the family of the workers that were killed on February the 6th. Being a cancer survivor myself, and we, all, uh, we all realize what a devastating disease it is and how much help people need and the research that this money goes to fund. So that's why I'm here. I always get a perfect day for it. And, uh, Great group of people. the government here in Ontario to uh, step up to the challenge and provide agricultural workers with the same rights as every other worker, whether it be in a food retail store, a food processing plant, a manufacturing plant. Agricultural workers um, deserve the respect and the dignity and deserve the right to be treated equally and as fair as every other worker in this province. Foreign Workers Program is a model our communities are embarrassed about and most Canadians are quite frankly unaware of. It is a model of use, abuse and dehumanization of workers from around the globe all in favor of an absurd amount of wealth for a very few. Mindy Lang believes farm workers should have the right to unionize. We work for a very long day, long hour, and we have no right, no what's, whatever saying so with our right. You know, we just do as it's told. If we don't do what it's told, then we get, you know, terminated. Nous avons, avec ce support du Bureau national, nous avons pu euh, améliorer, changer beaucoup de choses au niveau des travailleurs euh, agricoles. 
Euh, exemple, nous avons pu garantir des heures au travail. Nous avons pu représenter ces travailleurs-là devant auprès de la Commission des relations de travail au Québec. Nous avons eu de grandes victoires. Nous avons empêché des, des déportations des travailleurs. Fait que, pour nous, il est fondamentalement le, le support du Bureau national doit être présent et on doit continuer cette bataille pour protéger nos conditions de travail, nous-mêmes, nos travailleurs ici au Québec. Food and Commercial Workers Union, Canada's largest private sector union. These workers need a leader. Delegates, I believe that leader is Thomas Mulcair. And I'm proud to place his name in nomination for the leadership of our great party, the New Democrats of Canada. He's got his own personality, he's got his own understanding of what Canadians uh, value. He listens and wants to understand the trade union movement and our principles because he thinks it's an important role that we play in society and shaping the kind of Canada that we have. But there's always hope. We saw that this week in the U.S. Where Obama's message was able to triumph over the negativism of the Republicans and Romney. That hope gives us the ability to start working on things like a plan. We have a high uh, volume or high number of uh, uh, young people in our organization and uh, they need representation too and you know that's why uh, a lot of people like myself and, and other people that have gone through the youth internship program have uh, become activists. If I want to change the way my world is, I got to speak up and have a voice and you have to do something about that. The biggest thing that um, UFCW National has kind of put on that's been really relevant for youth and a good way of reaching out is the youth internship program. Uh, I was fortunate to be a participant of that program in 2010. Different courses that I've taken through uh, the youth internship program and with other courses with UFCW really open up my eyes to Canadian politics. I love taking courses, uh, uh, online courses at UFCW because it enhances me and empowers me to know a lot about the things that I don't know uh, since I came from the Philippines and I need more knowledge and understand on what cultures and what are the things that needs to be done at my work. Is there any type of anything out there that could potentially help me? And in finding the courses and the web campus, it's done that for me. We guide you to sites that take your ideas and make them websites and blogs with just a little effort and knowledge. for a Canada where companies help support the communities that support them. That is why we stand with you today in defense of the more than 10,000 workers set to lose their jobs thanks to Target's takeover of Zellers. I'm here to fight for fairness for our Zellers workers. We have been working very hard and Target came over and took our jobs away from us and that's not fair. As a Zellers worker and I'm out of a job, does Target um, guarantee me a job if I come and apply for one? We certainly guarantee you an interview.
grâce au support du Bureau national des TUAC, au début des années 2000, nous avons syndiqué les employés de Walmart et ça à travers le Canada. Encore une fois, depuis plus d'un an, nous travaillons à aider les employés de Zellers face à l'acquisition de, de, de Target. Et nous avons eu du succès. Et dans le futur, nous avons continué à travailler fort, à développer des nouvelles idées. Et grâce au support du Bureau national, nous aurons du succès et je crois que j'aurai du succès. H&M for three, uh, four years now, and we just had uh, agreed onto a contract. It's definitely um, a great feeling in the sense that we are now part of this bigger movement. It's not just within our store, it's, 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 it's something that um, is national and maybe even international. UCW National, they are Honestly, I like a great and amazing organization that they've been able to help so many people that don't have a voice. As USCW Canada members, we have this, the security with our collective agreements, and we have that to add that level of confidence that allows us to get on with focusing to our customers and add this, the satisfaction of service, and it's a win-win. People have a message to send, whether it be uh, the labor movement or our community partners. The message is that workers' rights, people' rights, human rights have to be heard by the uh, by the leaders from around the world. And uh, this demonstration is going to show that. You know, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that the barricades are pe keeping people out, uh, but the barricades can't keep the message out. The message is going to be loud and clear. It's going to be heard by the leaders. It's going to be heard around the world. And I'm so proud of our union and so proud of the labor movement for getting that message out there. going now where people are, where the message gets out the fastest, and it's not just your members you're communicating with. When 832 sends out a tweet or the national office sends out a tweet, because I get all of theirs, or it's the Facebook page, it's people in Australia, it's people in China, it's people that I know all over the world who are seeing it when I retweet it. We're taking our union message and that positive union message to the world. It's fascinating. I'm still a member, 34 years, and there I was a member. I start uh, uh, United Packing House Workers first, and then uh, was UFCW. You know, it's great to see the, all this gold. It's great to see all of uh, the members that come out, and uh, we welcome everyone. I believe because uh, labor is, it was my bread and butter, and I believe it in it.